so the Wiggins trade, we were talking about KD. KD does them a solid. KD sign and trade for Russell. They know pretty early Russell and Curry together makes no sense. I mean, I guess eventually his Jordan Poole would have been the best possible outcome for Russell, like a guy off the bench. But that's not who Russell wanted to be. He would have never he wouldn't have wanted that. that. He would not have accepted it. It would not have been work. And he's a, workable. He Poole's a bad defensive player. So is Russell. But I, I think Poole kind of fits into the framework better. So they turned him into Wiggins and the future draft pick, who, by the way, they didn't even need the draft pick. And Wiggins was, I think everybody's one of their least favorite players. All the people who love basketball, you look at him and you go, that's, that's just a guy I'm out on. He doesn't have it. He's, he's, you watch, you watch Wiggins and he's just gone for a half hour and you're like, wait, was Wiggins out there? I can't remember. Like he has all the tools. He doesn't want it. And by this finals, he was fucking awesome. We watched so many games of his where he might even like be really efficient, like 17 points in a half or something. And, right. And we would look up and say, that was the quietest 17 points I've ever seen. That was like the legacy he seemed headed towards. He's soft. He's missing a fire. He doesn't have, man, if you could put so-and-so's head on Wiggins' body, he'd be amazing. He kept having that conversation. He played like he didn't love basketball. Yes. And you know why he didn't love basketball? Because he had like four coaches in six years. Yeah. And he played on a shit team in a in a city that had had no success other than 2004. Meanwhile, he's putting up stats. Like you go back, he was like 17, 18, 19, 20 points a game. And he's a good athlete, but man, uh, what he did in this series, I was so impressed by him. I mean, I feel like he kind of broke Tatum. Oh, that's interesting. He certainly had him a role and Draymond in it. together. Like I, like I, 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 I it, it hit a point by today. Tatum couldn't score on him anymore. The psycho babble. We, we will engage in all kinds of psychology. That'll be the next break pop, for Tatum. Pop psychology yeah. for Tatum. But the thing with. Um, Wiggins, I love it when um, folks from your crew come out with the receipts. KOC this week um, trotted out both his draft analysis of yeah. Andrew Wiggins and a column that he wrote coincident with Wiggins arriving um, with the Warriors and made the point that this really could work. This could be the landing spot for Wiggins where he excels. And by the way, Russell and I did that when we did our trade deadline podcast. We both liked the trade. Yeah. Because the, the theory was like you're putting him in the best possible That's infrastructure. Right. If there's anything in there, it's going to come out. You know, I know it's fun to like kind of poke fun at the Warriors and Lake of. And he's, he's obviously a little, he can be a little arrogant from time to time. But yes. I have so much respect for the organization. You made the key point. Bob Myers, we always read, oh, Presty, Presty, Presty. I'm guilty of it too. And Myers crushed it. Crushed it. And, you know, he could have panicked and he could have made it. We talked a week ago on this podcast about did the Warriors blow it when they were down 2-1 in the series? Did they blow it not making a trade deadline trade? Should they trade one of those picks? Are they are they missing a guy? And they didn't. They played it perfectly. Pretty good. The Wiggins trade. I think it's now an all-timer for me. Huh. I thought he was their second best player in the series. And they and he won them the title. I mean, Curry won them the title. But that trade, which was just really smart, I was thinking of trades that actually you could you could just point to and say they swung a title. I mean, Kawhi in two thousand nineteen. Okay, Kawhi in two thousand nineteen. Yes, I think that trade did swing a title. I saw Zaza tonight. By the way, I took a picture. Zaza he, didn't swing a title. Well, he did. He. he, he oh yeah, because he heard he Kawhi. Kawhi. You're right. Pau Gasol, two thousand eight trade ended up. Led to two Lakers trade uh, titles, and I'll never get over that. Ever. I remember I'll where I was when they it. made the trade. Memphis was like, "Here, take Pogus, Pogus off. Never, ever we'll take a bunch of crap back." For this is that's the blemish on it. And then they're like, "No, we got Marcus Gasol out of it." Now you, you Marcus Gasol is three hundred and fifty pounds when you made that trade. On Fuck David off, Stern's like legacy. You yeah, you never There's lots of a trade with Chris Paul in the same era as permitting that trade to go through. Rashid Wallace, two thousand four. Big time. That won them the title. Swung a title to the Detroit Pistons. Bill Walton, 1986. Okay. Sixth man of the year. Yeah. Pushed that team over the top. And then I got Parrish and McHale in 1980. I'm not counting Moses because they signed Moses as a free agent and they did compensation. Parrish and McHale make that trade. They trade down from one to three. 
they pick up, they take Mikhail, they get Paris and the deal, they win the title the next year. I mean, those are like OG all-time trades. And it's crazy to think Wiggins belongs on that list, but he does because they won the title because that trade. He was the most consistent. He played 44 minutes tonight. He might have been, would you say he was more consistent than Steph? No. Well, no. Steph I mean, bad like shooting games. Steph had still, one bad game and then and one like shooting game. game. He still has an enormous impact because of, of the pressure that he creates on the defense. Wiggins hit a point where I was surprised when his shot wasn't going. Yeah. I think he was like eight for 18. It wasn't even like he was awesome today, but I always felt like he was making it. And then the stuff he was doing defensively was just out of control. I mean, that was like, you know, if, if Kawhi and Pippen are the top of the ladder. I'm not saying he was up there, but next level down of just insane defense by a wing and his rebounding. Yeah. And uh, man, he was something. So I, I think he was 18 and nine in the finals, 44%. Last four games, he played 40, 43, 43, and 44. His overs were among my favorite plays uh, on the Ringer Gambling Show. My lesson from the Wiggins trade is, is, is a lesson we already knew. Always bet on the pedigree. This is why I like, I, yeah, sure, I'll take a flyer on Marvin Bagley. It's like, if I'm a top five lottery pick, there's talent in there and you really have to look at situation and you just have to factor that in. There can't, Wiggins was this good in college. He had this many tools and you can't just write somebody like that off and we learn that over and over again. I don't know though. Here's why? the problem. Because how many franchises do you believe are capable of taking pedigree and bringing out the best? Like, I, it's less Not than that five, many. Five, but, I think. But it could still Gold happen. Gold State is one of them. So who's like a pedigree guy San for you? Antonio is one of them. Yeah. Well, I wonder, I feel like somebody... Because Marvin Bagley Boston to me... Boston might be, might be one of them. We'll see. Maybe. Um... I think DeAndre Ayton is going to go to the right situation. Now, it's funny that mm. the Suns is not the right situation, but he didn't have the maturity to deal with the team not offering him the extension, and it impacted his relationship with the coach of the year, and it should have. Williams. I mean, but, but you know, I, I respect Phoenix's ability developmentally. I mean, they, they, they made uh, uh, Mikhail Bridges a gigantic amount of money. I was thinking more of um, the people on the bad teams. Like somebody like Darren Fox, right? Who's never been a good situation. I'm not a huge fan of Darren Fox, but it's in the right situation. Would there be this other level? Anyway, this would be a good topic for a summer podcast. 